fine night for a ball game in Southern California. We've got the Mets and the Angels, and we've got it coming up next. for nearly a half century. There's a look at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to another edition of Baseball on the Show. I'll be joined in just a minute by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, but first... Let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting New York Mets. As Terry Collins sets his guys up like this. They'll go to work against a tough assignment indeed, matching up against a good one in Jared Weaver. Ligaris. The move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. No, he tried to hold back, but this is popped up. First pitch, 705. Now the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Now here it comes. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. So Weaver takes care of the leadoff hitter here in the first, and with that, let's give you a look at the way the Angels match up defensively. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Daniel Murphy steps in now. Now here's the first pitch. And he goes the other way with it. High and deep down the left field line. And he's going to make the play over toward his right. And there are two away now. And this is a tough read for an outfielder off the bat because the ball's taken the other way and deep. He makes up the difference quickly and is able to range back into the corner and make the play. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Yes, he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pitch on the way. And a good 0-2 pitch there, but right able to lay off to make it a ball and two strikes. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. Here comes a 1-2. And this one will be foul back in among the fans. Here's another 1-2. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Here it comes. Now here's the ball hit high and deep out to left center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. So a good inning there for Jared Weaver. Now the Angels will get their first crack at it. No score. Starting lineup for the Angels is there on your screen. They'll go.
go to work against the hard-throwing right-hander Matt Harvey as you see his numbers there. we see the Mets will line up this way. Cole Calhoun will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1 and after that call you know he's got to be turning around to say something like hey you know what this guy doesn't need any help and the pitch yeah. and that's in there as well two pitches and two called strikes to start his night of work uh, you can tell he's still frustrated after that first called strike it's still on his mind. Two strikes now from Harvey. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And, oh. wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's 1-2. got away from him two and two now and we'll see him work both sides of the plate with the curveball going forward so maybe not that far in but he'll move that pitch around here's the two and two offering and here's a ball hit in the air and Wright will put this one away for the first out and this looked for a second like it might be trouble off the bat. But that's a great job by a corner infielder of ranging back to make that play. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. One out, nobody on. Here's the 1-0. -oh. And this is lined into left field for their first hit of the ball game. A couple of hard hit balls here to start the inning. The first one found a glove, but not this one, though. He's on with a one out single. Matt Joyce will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Here's the first offering. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. and I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. That was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. Runner at first here, one man out. Set now the pitch. And that's uh -oh. too high, ball two. Yeah, he, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is anywhere near the zone. Here comes the 2-0. Out in front as he lifts a fly ball out toward right field. And this will be handled by Kadire, and that's out number two. Yeah, a dangerous pitch right there. 2-0 and oh to a middle-of-the-order guy. And he gets away with it. Gets him to lift an easy fly ball. Albert Pujol will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Comes set. Now the pitch. Now a curveball that misses here to the cleanup man. It's 1-0.
the next pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Home now to Albert. Three and oh now. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. The three and nothing pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. A runner on first with two away. The three one now to Albert. This is going to be a foul ball. Here's the full count offering. And this is lifted in the air out to left. There now is Granderson as he makes the catch to retire the side. Angels lead one. After one, no score. Lucas Duda leads things Getting off now in the, the top half of the second. First baseman number 21, Lucas Duda. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first down. Yeah, and he had to range deep for this one. And you've also got to worry about that ball hitting the lip of the outfield grass. So you got to hang with it just like he did, and he made a nice play. Stepping in now, Michael Kadir. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Now here's the pitch. Fouled back. Now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. No score here as we play inning number two. Here comes another 0-2. Good waste one pitch, ball, one and three. two. Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. The one two to Kadire. It's a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Let's take you through that up bat right here on show track. Now you're gonna see he'll start things off with a nice slider. But he's not gonna double that pitch up. He's gonna keep that one in his back pocket for a little while until he needs it again. Then after a little bit of a battle, he goes back to that slider and finishes him off. Into the box, Curtis Granderson. As he'll look oh. at a fastball too high for ball one. one. Two out, nobody on. The 1-0 now to Granderson. Hey. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. 1-1 one, one on the way. And a good cut here by Granderson, but this one's going to find the seats in right, a foul ball. Here comes the 1-2. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. C.J. Crone will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven due up to start the home second. Here's the first offering. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. And now pitch on the way. 
pass is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Now here it comes. Can't get him one, to two. chase. It's one and two. Here's the one, two. That two, misses, two. and we're even at two and two. And again, they try to take him down in the strike zone just to see if he'll go after that pitch below the knees. But with two strikes, he's been able to lay off that thing now twice in a row. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Now look out as this is whistled foul off to the right side. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. This one sinks okay. low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Wow, what an at-bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a three and two count. Oh, and he takes ball four. four. Lead off man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Wow, just a great at-bat right there. Simple as that. Patient, laid off some tough pitches. He was rewarded. David Freeze will get his first shot here with the runner on following the leadoff walk. Here's the first pitch to him. Uh, and he couldn't hold back that time. They say he went around at strike one. Now the pitch. Yeah. Called strike 0 and 2. Come set. Now the pitch. Ball hit pretty well out toward left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And the run will score as the Angels grab the early 1-0 lead. Give that runner credit for first base. Sometimes on a deep fly ball like that, get caught up either going into a home run trot too early or waiting up to see if the ball would be caught. But he had his head down the whole way, and he's going to come all the way around and score. Here's Eric Ibar now. second nobody out here's the 1 0 2 and 0 now this is becoming all about confidence now he's pitching a little rattled out there Harvey now on 2 and 0 and that swung on and fouled straight back the 2-1. Trying to shave that outside corner with the fastball and he missed it. It's 3-1 and one now. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. I was thinking the same thing. No free ride. You've got to make these guys earn it. Now the 3-1 pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Full count offering on its way. And this may get the runner to third as it's on the ground towards second base. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. You know what? It's never too early in a ball game to play smart, fundamental baseball. You've got the leadoff man at second, so he's just shooting for the right side of the infield. And he's able to move him up 90 feet to third with just one away. the catch. 
pitcher now, Chris Iannetta. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And now with that runner on third and one away, you need to stay smart at the plate, realizing that they might be working around you to put you on. So you can't go up there chasing some pitches out of the zone. And a fastball in there for a strike, 1-1. One and one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. Angels lead at 1-0 here in inning number two. Here's the 1-1. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Now the one-two. Curveball hit on the ground to shortstop. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Yeah, and unless he was going on his own down there at third, they were using that contact play where you're told wherever and whenever the ball's hit, you're off and running. You're not even paying attention to what's going on. You've got to go. They love to play an aggressive style on the bases, and it gives them a run right there. Into the box now, Josh Rutledge. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. The next pitch. And a strike to even the count, 1-1. One one. Here it comes. Fastball called strike, one, one and two. two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. The one, two. And he lays off the pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Here we go. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. So two runs on just one hit in the inning. No errors, and no one left. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Angels two, and the Mets nothing. Eric Campbell stand in now to lead things off. Seven, eight, and nine here to start the third inning. Eric and maybe one Campbell. of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Let's go. Shut him down. Get out of here, Matt. First pitch coming. Oh, had him no chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Oh, man, what a perfect pitch right there in a perfect spot. And that's exactly how you have to attack a guy like this. He wasn't even close on that pitch. Here's the pitch. Let's go, Angel. Two. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot Point there. Two. It's 0-2. Boy, that's just pretty standard operating procedure right here. You get him leaning out over the plate on that slider running away, and then you... Bust him inside hard on that fastball on the inside corner. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. One, two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Now, how important is it going to be for this guy to throw that curveball for strikes? I don't know that he necessarily needs to ever throw it for a strike. I mean, if it's around the plate and he's getting guys to go after it, it's doing its job. But if he starts to get too high or That's too far outside, then it's just an easy take. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. misses for the first out of the inning. You want to talk about throwing a fastball in a guy's kitchen? Uh, he came in, sat down, had a cup of coffee with him. <laughs> he 
You aren't gonna tie a guy up any better than that. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. As he'll take oh. a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone, so that's a good job Let's just go, to lay go. off. 1-0 pitch now. Downstairs, no, that two ball. balls and no yeah. strikes. Right. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the 2-1. He's fallen oh, behind now. 3-1. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Now the 3-1. Three. And That's he misses ball four. four. Still no hits on the ledger, but at least they get themselves a base runner Down here. Nine. And that's a step Short in the step. right direction. Wilmer Lawrence. Lawrence. Wilmer Flores will step Turn in now. And here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, the knock on Weaver, if you can have a knock on a guy that went 18 and 9, he still gives up a lot of home run balls, 27 of them last year. And that was just one shy of the major league leader. From the stretch. Swing and a ball hit hard to third. Rutledge over to Pujols, and it's a double play that'll get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More from Anaheim right after this. Cole Calhoun get us started here for the Angels with the excitement waiting on deck in the form of Mike Trout. First pitch on the way. In there for strike one. The pitch. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. And you know the problem with this slider, and it almost sounds stupid to say it, but sometimes it can literally move too much. I mean, it's a great pitch, don't get me wrong. But here, look at how far this thing runs in. That's a pitch that can be hard to control at times, and here it winds up costing. Mike Trout will stand in now. He'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. The first pitch. Good. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. That's what you need to do after a hit by pitch. Get right back on that horse and fire a fastball in there. He waits. Now the pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Nobody out, runner on first. Ready now on one and one. Who jumped one, the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. The right-hander deals on one and two. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. And we're going to check out that sequence right here on show track. The first three pitches all going to be down in the strike zone. So you've got the guy thinking he's going to see something else down around the knees. Ah, oh, but that's when they change things up and change the eye level of the hitter. And they get that last pitch by him right at the letters. Here's Matt Joyce now. And a check swing here. Did he go around? No, says third base umpire Clyde Washington. It's ball one. 1-0. On, 
that misses 2-0. Well, I think he's getting frustrated with his inability to get ahead of him. This is not the kind of guy you want to fall behind 2-0. Runners on first with one down. The 2-0. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Avoid the two. From the belt, the pitch. This is grounded foul. Two, two. Here we go. Breaking ball. Called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. Oh, and that's a nice comeback from down in the count, two and zero. Oh. He doesn't panic. He doesn't just start laying pitches in there. He had a good plan to start with, and then he executed that plan all the way through the attack. So we're under it first here with two gone in the inning, and stepping in the former MVP Albert Pujols. to him and he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one Come on, one strike to Pujols and this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now ready now the pitch and they That's try to get Pujols to chase here but he lays off it's one and two maybe a good opportunity here to show him a change up give him a different look here comes a one two swing and a ball hit softly on the ground but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Let's go. Now another one, two. Here now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Angels strand one, but they're on top two to nothing. Juan Ligaris will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Swinging a tapper out in front. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. And that's a good guy to take care of on one pitch, especially on a swing like that. Daniel Murphy will try it again. He flew out his first time. First pitch coming. Yeehaw. And there's a fastball to begin the at-bat as Weaver gets ahead. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. Now here's the pitch. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0-2. And, and he missed that with missed. it. That's it's 1-2. One 1-2 and two. One and is the count. And now a pitch on the way. And, and a fastball two. in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And when he's down 0-2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So... Now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Yeah, he had a chance to put him away. Had him down 0-2. 
tried to get him to chase a couple of times, but he wouldn't do it. And he winds up making contact on a good pitch there. So a runner at first with one out now. And stepping in, the all-star third baseman, David Wright. First offering on the way. Swing and a liner. Foul ball. Foul. Come on, guys. Turn two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Well, you know, the big key to throw on the slider is knowing when to throw up for a strike and then when to try to get a guy to chase out of the zone. Once he gets ahead out there, you know he loves to get you to chase. He's set, now the pitch. Swing and this is they got him with the slider there, two away. Oh, that's a sweet pitch right there. You know, on the mound, there's very few things that can happen negatively with this location. I mean, you're either gonna swing and miss, you foul it off, or you hit it into the ground where it becomes a double play. But I'm sure on the mound, you'll take the strikeout. Here's Lucas Duda now. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. He's set. Now the pitch. In there, and it's 0-2 now. I don't think he's going to want to throw that pitch in that same location again ever in his life to this guy. As a look, now the pitch. And he will look at a called third strike as Earl Hendricks might have missed one there, but that ends the inning. Mets strand one. They're still down. It's 2-0. C.J. Crone will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now the first pitch. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. Up top, it's 2-0. Yeah, they're being really careful with this guy. Remember, they walked him the first time around, and now they're behind 2-0 to him right here. Pitch on the way. Here we go. Ah! And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Ready on two and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. On deck, there you see David Freeze. He'll be next. The 3-1 is on the way. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Full count pitch on its way. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throws in time, and that's out number one. RBI double to his credit the first time around. Now here's the first pitch. And this one one's not up. close. It's in the dirt for ball one. The 1-0. -oh. And he That's won't fight at that one either. It's 2-0. And after that double in his first at bat, you can tell they're approaching him with a bit more caution here. Well, they should. Too tight Three with that one. Three and oh. There's Eric Ibar. He'll be next.
Here it comes, the 3 0. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's moorings, a four pitch walk here. And sometimes, you know, you just got to learn that harder isn't always better. You've got to be able to dial that fastball down a few miles an hour and make sure you keep it in the strike zone. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that'll bring in the shortstop, Eric Ibar. Here's the first offering. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. A little bad luck there defensively. If that's hit at an infielder, it's a double play. But instead, now you're in hot water here with one away. Here's the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Let's find the hole. There we go, Chris. Come set, now the pitch. And here's That's one that ball. misses to the angel catcher. It's back even at one and one. the stretch swing and a line drive but foul let's keep it going from the belt the pitch to two balls and two strikes now two runs three hits and no errors to this point for the angels that's the 2-2 pitch. And he turns on one here and hits it a mile to left. But this is going to wind up a long foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. But he will haul this in on the run. As he had to go back to the warning track to do it, and there are two away. A little bit of a risk there with two away. You don't want to run yourself into a double play to end the inning, but he's able to make it up there. That puts runners on the corners now with two outs. Josh Rutledge will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. And it looks now like a right-hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Now the pitch. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Runners on first and third, two away. Put some runs on the ball. Two strikes now from Harvey. Now a third ball knocked down at home plate. And this will go down as a wild pitch, but the silver lining is at least they did prevent the runner at third from scoring. The upshot, though, is that the runner on first was able to move into scoring position now with two outs. Here comes the one-two. And this one is off the catcher's glove, and that might be a run. It is. Yeah, that's his second wild pitch of the game, and this one's going to cost him. It almost looked like he got a cleat stuck on that delivery because this is nowhere close. That runner's going to come in and score for third. Here's the two and two home. Too high, ball three. Boy, nothing's really come easy for him so far on the mound. He's had to work for everything, and now he's got to deal with another full count. The 3-2 pitch. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out toward right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Angels get just the one.
On to the top of inning number five we go. It's the Angels three and the Mets nothing. Michael Kadire will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Michael Kadire. Now here's the first pitch. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. And a strike to even the count, one and one. comes one one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two here's the one two now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away an early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Curtis Granderson will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first offering. Right on that pitch that time as he wraps it into center field, a base hit. Yeah, and guys, there's a look at his line through the first few innings. Pretty dominant so far. Just the second hit he's allowed tonight, and the first one didn't wind up hurting him at all. So we'll see if he can get out of this inning as well. Eric Campbell will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Double play kills the inning. He's ready now, the pitch. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes, he did. It's ruled a strike. From the belt, kicks and deals. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Calhoun is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Well, I think this is a slider down in the zone, running away. And that's a very difficult pitch to drive with any authority, unless you're a guy like Matt Kemp. And this becomes a harmless fly out to right field. Travis Darno will dig in. Drew a walk his first time around. Here's the first pitch to him. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. He's set, now the pitch. And a bouncing ball, foul. Ready? Now the pitch. Fastball, and he's got to duck away for dear life there. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think, but sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he was trying to do there. Now the one, two. Fastball, whoa, that's look out. Ball. That just about got him in the coconut. Oh, that's what you call getting in tight with the fastball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And he'll lay off here as Weaver runs it full now. It's 3-2. and two. And now the benefit of you working the count to 3-2 is that that runner gets a head start from first with two away. Payoff 
pitch coming. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. First and second now after the walk. And they haven't gotten much going offensively against this guy at all. So this is about as good an opportunity as they've had. Wilmer Flores. See what he can do here with two on and two out here in inning number five. And here's the first pitch. Fouled back. Here we go. He waits. Now the pitch. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Two down, runners at first and second. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he will make the play back there, and an opportunity goes by the boards here, as that will end the inning. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. Back to Angel Stadium right after this. Cole Calhoun will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First pitch coming. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. Here it comes. Here we go. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. But uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Now the pitch. One, oh, and he two. dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. It looked like he was giving him the evil eye down there, and I can't say I blame him. Yeah, well, he's already been plunked once, and I don't think he's going to stand for too much more of that. Two, two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And the pitch. Here we go. And here's a ball hit in the air. Flores is in his tracks now. One down. Well, usually when you get guys to pop up, it means that you've got them off balance. And he's been able to mix things up all night long. Mike Trout will stand in now. As they'll have to deal with the reigning RBI champ in the American League. Now the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. And you know, he hasn't looked incredible out there on the mound so far, but he's pretty much done what he's needed to do. He's kept his guys in the game against a real good ball club. Yeah, a high strike there, and it's one and one. Yeah, showing no fear there. He put the pitch right at the letters away, but that guy didn't want any part of it. MVP! MVP! Here's the 1-1. One, one. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. Well, this ball is rifled down that left field line. It wasn't fair by much. You'll see it just to the right of the chalk, and he's going to hustle himself up a second with a hard hit double. Here's Matt Joyce now. Her ball bounces, and this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Yeah, and then one pitch later, he basically turns that double into a triple, as that's going to be ruled a wild pitch. The 1-0 home. 2-0. Got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. 
He's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. Here's the 2-0 pitch. 3-0 oh now. Green light here on 3-0. Yeah, I want my run producer swinging the bat. It's my number oh, 7 hitter. Go. Probably not. a strike as he'll try to work his way back it's three and one yeah a much better pitch there than the one he threw on two and oh a man at third with one away here comes the three one and oh that should have been ball four there but it's a called strike and that runs things full at three and two ek where are you going now on three and two i still got to work a corner not just going to throw it right down the middle and grab a strike. Can't be a giveaway pitch. Get a hold of that one. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Well, this is a pretty hard hit ball, and I thought for a second that he might have had a shot at the plate. But he thinks about it for a second and takes the sure out instead, and that allows that runner to come in and score. Albert Pujols try and start over now with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground out. First pitch on the way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. The next pitch. Low and away as he misses again. 2-0. Two and oh. you still come after him now on 2-0? I think you have to be a little careful, but yeah, I don't think you can just give up on him. Here's the pitch. Look out. All over the place now. 3-0. and oh. And here in just the fifth inning, this will be pitch number 100 here. What can he do here? Three and zero, oh. and a good comeback there. It's three and one. And after you move a guy off the plate, and you know he's all worked up, that's a perfect time to drop a curveball or a changeup on him. Great pitch call right there. Here he comes, three one. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two. Not a full count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and two. Here it is. Rip toward the gap in right. No one's going to get to this one, and it should be good for extra bases. Around first, Pujols on his way to second now. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. When you're a hitter, there's only two times where you know for sure you've got a hit. One is when you hit one into the seats and feel so good. And two is when you split the outfielders like that. Right off the bat, you know it's a double. The only thing in your mind, can I go for three? Well, now here comes the Mets manager, Terry Collins, on his way to the mound. And he's already made the change. That's going to do it for Matt Harvey. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two-thirds. And he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. You're Dylan G please. is going to take over now here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game Dylan here. G. Here's C.J. Crone now. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. The 1-0 pitch. Mm, 2-0. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. Tough pitch to lay off, but he made a pan out. count 2-0 and oh. over towards the dugout but this one will get into the stands Come on. here he 
delivery comes on two and one. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Granderson is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Angels get just the one. We're through five here at the ballpark. Angels are out in front, four to nothing. One Ligares will stand in to start things off as this top of the batting order hasn't found a whole lot of success so far. In fact, just one hit between the one, two, three hitters combined. So apparently the table setters have not been getting their chores done. First pitch to him. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. The next pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Daniel Murphy will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. First offering on the way. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And, and if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. Sit him down. Now here's the pitch. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Shut him down now! Shut them down! The one one. Wait. Now a ball hit high in the air down the right field line, oh. but he hooked this one a bit too much, and this one's gonna be a long foul ball. Swing and a liner. That ball's foul. But this will be a foul ball. Weaver rapidly approaching the 70 pitch mark. He's at 68 right now. And he lays no, off the no. fastball away, so it's two and two, two now. Two. Now the 2 2 pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field out of here so they narrow the gap and hey don't count these guys out just yet a solo shot there for Daniel Murphy as they get on the board it's four to one now and even though this is only one run this is important, not just because it gets them on the board, but also because they needed something to get the dugout going a bit. Give them some life. And now we see a right-hander up and throwing in the Angel bullpen. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, as he will swing at the first pitch and send a ground ball out to short. Throw to first is in time to take care of Wright, and that's the second out. That slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Lucas Duda will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. First pitch coming. Now nope. a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Here's the 2-0. Oh. In the dirt, it's 3-0 and oh now. You get the sense he's starting to nibble a bit at the corners here, and that's something he wasn't doing earlier. Yeah, and he sort of backed off the throttle a little bit, too. I'm wondering if that home run ball might have changed his approach just a little bit. 
And that misses as well. Ball four, so it's a four-pitch walk here. And that's not the first time he's had the bat taken out of his hands. You see right there, a lot of pitchers just said, hey, with an open base, forget about it. I'm going to let the next guy try to beat me. Standing in now, Michael Kadire, yeah. as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Has a look, now the pitch. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Set now the pitch. A little bit off the outside. It's one and two. Well, I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. The one two changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. a 2-2. And this is drifting foul back into the stand. Another try at 2-2. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. In the dirt. And oh, he can't quite dig it out. Good time to run right here. Two strikes, two outs. If he gets thrown out, you let the guy start off the next inning with a fresh count. Instead, as it is, now he's got a shot at a two-out RBI. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. 3-2, here it comes. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. The next 3-2. Fouled straight back. Pitch one more time. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Mets do pick up a run on this solo shot. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Angels four and the Mets one. David Freeze will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. First pitch. Up and one in ball, there with the strike. first pitch fastball. It's ball one. Let's go. Wait for the pitch. Here comes the 1 0. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. the 2-0. -oh. Outside, 3-0 and -oh now. And when you need a shutdown inning, a leadoff walk's not on the agenda. You better bear down right here. Here it comes, 3-0. -oh. And he finally gets this one over for strike one. The 3-1 and -one pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And Wright will put this one away for the first out. And this is right where they wanted this. You see it on show track there? They wanted to take him up around the letters hoping for the pop-up, and that's exactly what they got. Here's Eric Ibar now. First pitch that's misses ball, to him. Ball. It's ball one.
sixth inning. Four to one is our score. 1 0 on the way. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. Just fire that thing in there. Ibar waits on the 1 1. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Well, nothing fancy. Three fastballs so far in this at bat. He could go just about anywhere from here. One, two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, I think there's something to be said for being patient, and then there's being overly patient. I mean, especially with two strikes, you've got to protect the plate up there. But he looks at four pitches, and he never even took the bat off his shoulder. Here's the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. And so take a look at ball one. Here's a 1-0. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. one and one. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's come in and really put his stamp on this game. Throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. Now the one one. Wait for the pitch. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Knock it out of here. Now here's the pitch. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Angels go down one, two, three, but they lead it four to one. Back here at Angel Stadium of Anaheim. The Angels are out on top in this one as we get caught up on our game summary through the first six innings of play. Curtis Granderson will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. He drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. He continues to get ahead here. He's been in complete control. I think you need to guard yourself from being overconfident, though. A bloop and a blast could still turn this game on its ear. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The pitch. And this is fouled straight back. Two once more. Quick. And a slider One, runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Well, nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. Pitch on the way. On uh, hit well by Granderson. This ball's in the air to deep right. And he's going to have room to put this one away. And that's the first out. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Eric Campbell will stand in now. He struck out and fly out 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first offering. On a good slider from Weaver that time for the first strike. Here it comes. Low of the one fastball ball, here in the dirt even. It's ball one. We're in the seventh now. Four to one, our score to this point. One one pitch on the way. And this ball. one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Put him away. The 
2-1 home. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to 2-2 two and two now. The 2-2. Two -two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Grounded foul. Still two strikes. Another 2-2 offering. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, if this is a day game, this is a home run. You know, a night game, much different story here. This place just doesn't have the same kind of carry to it under the lights. This winds up being a long out to the warning track. Travis Darno will stand in face on balls his last time. Now here's the first pitch. And that misses ball, ball one. EK, the starter Whoa. creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, with the way the teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think he'll wind up going much further. And that one misses Ball, upstairs, 2-0. Oh. And that man right there, he's got to figure out some kind of combination to score some runs for him. They have really been scuffling. Now the 2-0 home. Weaver's pitch is hit right back past him and into center field for a base hit. Didn't have a whole no lot of choice there on 2-0. Oh. You had to go after no him. No but more. when you leave that ball out over the plate, this can be the result. Now that's what being patient and waiting for your pitch will get you. Wilmer Flores will bat now. He popped out in foul ground last time. Peanut. Get Peanut here. Now here's the first pitch. And now this is swung on and pulled down the third base line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And just when you thought this inning was about over, back-to-back -back hits on back-to-back -back pitches. You can't let your guard down even for a second against these guys. Juan Ligaris will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. First pitch coming. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Bullpen working behind him, but you know this guy does not want to give up the baseball. And he never does. I just don't think that's in his mentality. Now the 1-0 pitch. That missed. Close. It's ball two. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. The 2-0 on the way. Yeah, that look. one's more like it, he says. Back to 2-1 and one now. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Grounded fouled off to the right. on two and two and look out as this bat shatters on impact and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning two left for the Mets they trail it four to one Josh Rutledge 
step in now to lead off the home half for the seventh. Second baseman, Scott Rutland. Here's the first pitch to him. He'll start in here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. And maybe a little frustrated on the mound here as the fastball misses for ball two now. A lot of late movement on that fastball. That nearly came back to the outer edge. Here comes the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. And it goes without saying but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. Oh, he's going to watch you. 3 0 pitch. Hey, that what? one's in there, 3 and 1. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. Here he comes on 3-1. Ah! And a full count now, 3-2. and two. Count is full. There's one coming down the middle. Here's the payoff pitch. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Oh. No problem here, one away. Good job out there on the mound. Down in the count, 3-0 to start this in. He comes back to retire the guy on a ground ball. Cole Calhoun will stand in now. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Here's the first offering. Right there for strike one. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. Now the pitch. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And yeah, the underhanded throw gets him for the out. A center field number 27. Mike. Mike Trout will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. First pitch coming. There we go. Off the no plate and away down. there. One ball, no strikes. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Hits are even right now at five aside. Here's the 1 0. Here we go. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. This had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2-1. and one. Two out, nobody on. Here it comes, 2-1. Now a swing here and another ground ball headed to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. Your attention, New pitcher coming on now as we get a look at the side armor, Joe Smith. Daniel Murphy will stand in again as we take you back to earlier in the ballgame. This one swing here has been the entire offense to this point as this home run accounted for the only run they've tallied so far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0.
pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Two and one. You got to think one thing here. Get on base. A walk will do the trick. Here comes the 2 1. Oh, Hit the good. corner. 2 and 2. I figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on it, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. The 2 2 coming. Wait. Now a ball line foul as this is over the Angel dugout. Here's the two and two offering. Right. And a play for Freeze. No, it's a foul ball. Go home. Go Ready with another two two. Wait. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Eighth inning here from Orange County. Homestanding Angels looking to put the finishing touches on this one as you get a look at our line score. David Wright will stand in now. He's been kept quiet out of the number three hole, hitless in his three at bats so far. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. And time's getting short here. You don't want to have to face that closer in the ninth inning needing three runs. They need to cut that gap down somehow. Yeah. Come on, let's do it. Here's the 1-0. Looks at a sinker there that drops in one and one. Much better sinker there. I, I think that's the one he wanted to throw to start the at bat. One, one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first is in time to take care of right, and that's the second out. Lucas Duda will stand in now with two away, needing to really get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Here's the first pitch. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. Oh. The next pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But a foul ball, 1-1. One one. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. The one-one home. And a sinker balls, dips too strike. low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Peanuts. Peanuts here. Two-one. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Mets go down one, two, three. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Matt Joyce. We'll try again. Over three thus far. First pitch on the way. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. 
real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. And the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Come on, choke up! Now here's the pitch. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. The right-hander deals on one and two. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Yeah, doesn't look like much has changed here to start this inning either. That's eight in a row now he's set down. Albert Pujols will dig in. He doubled his last time. First pitch to him. Here we go. Change up too low, and it's one and zero. One out, nobody on. 1-0 pitch now. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. And we all know that this guy doesn't really have the velocity to get it past a whole lot of major league hitters. So he's got to rely on that location, in and out, up and down. And that was perfect right there. Here we go. Fouled back. Let's go out. So one and two with one away. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. You just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. <laughs> Nine in a row, he said. CJ Crone will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. First offering on the way. First pitch hack in oh here, my. and that's the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here's the pitch. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Pitch on the way. Wonderful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More from Anaheim right after this. Dyer is in charge with starting things out in the ninth against three. Ninth That's inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. 1-0 on the way. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point, so good idea there just to wait for strike one. One one on the way. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. Here's the 2-1 to Kadire. This ball will be chopped foul.
2-2 pitch on the way. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. The 2-2 one more time. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Don't want to lose the leadoff hitter here. <laughs> Not when you got this guy on deck. Yeah. Now the three and two pitch. Struck him out. And his woes continue as that's his third strike out of the game. If he could have been just a little more patient there, would have had a leadoff walk. Instead, chases it out of the zone here and winds up caught. Them. Stepping in now, Curtis Granderson. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. 1-0. Fouled back. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. But a foul ball, one and two now. Granderson waits on the 1-2. Hard two and sinker two. misses, 2-2. Two and two. Two, two. Strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you get a good sense of his value to this ball club watching this. Two hitters, two strikeouts, and now they're an out away from wrapping this thing up. Here's Eric Campbell. As he'll pick on the first pitch and hit a ground ball towards second. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Not too many balls hit solidly tonight. Just their sixth hit of the game. So now they need to figure out some way to string a few of these together. Travis Darno will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Now the first pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Jared Weaver in line for the W if the lead holds. Now the 1-0. Just missing here. 2-0. Close pitch. Maybe just off the plate, but if it was, it wasn't by more than half an inch or so. Two well count, the pitch. And he lays off the pitch just below the knees. It's three and oh. And obviously a walk here would be a huge development in this game with two outs in the ninth inning. You don't want to bring that tying run to the plate. Now the 3-0 pitch. And he takes no, ball it. four again. And clearly, guys, they just don't want any part of him in this one. And he may be the closer, but he is opening up a real can of worms here. Putting another guy on base with a walk, that's not going to help things. Wilmer Flores will get another crack. One for three thus far. First pitch. And a good missed, fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. They're definitely making him work out there. He came in trying to shut the door, and he has not had an easy time of it. Come on, let's hold him. The 
1-0 home. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Yeah, just really jumping out at that last pitch. He had him thinking fastball, maybe even slider. Come on now, let's stop him here. Let's go. Ready now on one and one. Yeah. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on the second for the worst, and the ball game is over. Another good job right there by the All-Star. Houston Street comes in to finish him off here in the night. here to get a terrific start out of this man. Jared Weaver, strike opposed. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, I thought he really pitched well. He ran into a few problems here and there along the way, but aside from that, he was definitely a difference maker out there. First for the victorious so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.